Hey everyone, Kita Sean here. So the Honkai Star Rail Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade Wars collaboration announcement is still buzzing and like myself, there have been many content creators from both the Type Moon community and the Hoyoverse community speculating on what kind of content can we expect next year. As everyone knows, the collaboration is set to release summer 2025. It's one year away, but this is more than enough time to create an event for a game. The first thing we are all expecting to come out from this collaboration is of course playable characters. There are so many iconic characters from UBW, but I doubt all of them will be joining Honkai Star Rail. Of course, there have been several gacha games that have collaborated with Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade Works, The Alchemist Code, Valkyrie Connect, Unison League, and many more. Most of the gacha games usually have the following characters playable from UBW, Saber, Archer, Tosakarin, and Shiro. We are of course expecting these four to be playable in Honkai Star Rail as well as a Fate Fan. Saber is a no-brainer, I mean she's the face of the franchise. Both Archer and Tosakadin are a must because these two are technically the main characters of the UBW route. And Shido, well, you know, the protagonist of Fate's Day Night. But I think it's only going to be the servants that are going to be playable. So I think like Tosakadin and Shiro are probably going to be NPCs if anything. Or maybe costumes for the existing characters. I, again, I don't know. Uh, just throwing stuff out there. But if there's going to be playable characters, then I think it's going to be Archer and Saber. I'm not too sure if they'll be playable, but maybe we'll see... Hercules and Gilgamesh as boss characters. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at the announcement image. So there is a planet in the back right. So Honkai Star Rail, if you guys play the game, if you don't, uh, you actually travel to planet the planet. So that planet behind the logos could be a planet that literally is dedicated for this collaboration and if there is a dedicated planet that means hey there is a story to be told it would be a wasted opportunity not to have Natsuki no Ko, the creator of the entire type moon universe write the story for the collaboration event but the problem is Nasu is a very busy person he not only writes the story for fake grand order he oversees other writers writing stories for FGO, uh, manga, novels, etc. Uh, of course, he's currently preparing for the release of Fate Stay Night Remastered and of course writing Tsukihime Remake 2. But it is Nasu and I'm pretty sure he will do it if asked. Because it is a brand new planet, I think it might be a planet that will be permanent, which is pretty cool. So I think it's going to be something that's going to be sticking in the story. And if it is a planet that's dedicated to just Fate's Day Night Unlimited Blade Works, I think we can definitely expect future collaborations to do the same. Of course, characters and stuff like that will probably come back or who, who knows, maybe they won't. But yeah, what do you guys think? Which characters do you think will be playable? Maybe there will be collaborative costumes for the protags in Honkai instead. But obviously we don't want that. We want to see actual characters be playable. And I actually realized that there were playable characters back in the day in other uh, Hoyoverse games like Honkai Impact 3rd got Evangelion. Asuka and then Genshin Impact completely forgot about this but they got Aloy from uh, Horizon Zero Dawn so um, I, I think it is highly possible playable characters are going to be coming in but um, it, it's just how will they be implemented that, that's the key here so hopefully we do get playable characters and it's going to blow our minds that's, that's going to be awesome but let me know in the comment section below on what you guys think and I will see you guys in the next one. Later.